Okay, well, so the time to get from here to here is just this distance divided by the speed, that's x over c. And delta x from the y-axis to the point, to the pulse on the y equals a, in other words, to this point, you know, this point to this point, well, they're at the same, they're at this point together, right? And then this one travels at this speed, this one travels at the original speed. Okay? So you just multiply this speed by delta t and you find out where this one is, right? Okay? Um, so, delta x is um, going to equal, I'm sorry? For delta t, would it be, it would be from the origin to x, right? Yeah, well that distance is x. But we started behind the y, or behind the origin. We're talking about the time interval, the time, the change in time between we're, time, we're here, between when we're here and here. We don't care what happened before. Okay. Okay? And in other words, we, you know, we're just talking about the interval from here to here. You know, we're not talking about absolute time, not that there is any such time, such thing. And we're not talking about a time relative to some initial time, or some zero of time or whatever. We're talking about the interval from here to here, and that applies to the interval, okay? Then the delta x on this interval has to be, you know, be times the duration. Time interval's the same here as it is here. That's a hypothesis, okay, or that's the condition. And uh, that's what we have, so delta x is equal to what? It's equal to c hat over c times delta t, right? Times times x, sorry. And what's the ratio of c hat to c? Well, you can work out the arithmetic, it's the square root of 1 over r times x. Or x over square root of r. Okay? So now, So, having that information, what do we have to do to find theta? Find 